Hello beautiful Pisces and thank you as always for tuning in to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, this channel is doing so well because of you and uh, yeah, I'm so happy every time you guys click a thousand views on videos I think, wow, you guys are fabulous. So. You are fabulous. Keep doing what you do. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm going to ask you to do that now. And click that notification bell to all. Absolutely, because you may never know when I post. And I'm going to try and keep it short with that. Um, this is officially my first day doing this full time for you Pisces. I'm so excited. I love this. I love this. It's a, it's a brand new day. It's a day of taking care of the health, taking care of the health of my family, taking care of my home, uh, and taking care of you, Pisces, as always. So thank you so much. Today I'm going to be looking at Earth Sign with Pisces. I've done... Um, I've done fire so far and I've done air. So if you haven't seen those, go check those out. They're in the playlist as well as all the other timeless videos that I do for you Pisces. They're all timeless really. If something just kind of strikes you in a good way, just go for it. Okay? All right, so this is Pisces and Earth sign, and I can already tell you this is a good match. I have um, the three of abundance. Your passions will lead you will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything uh, there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Now this is talking, of course, this is talking about love, but we're talking about like-minded people, and they already mentioned it. They also talk about learning. Um, my earth sign is very much into knowing the facts of things, loves to consume a lot of stuff, okay? So that is probably right there. Nine of abundance. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small, luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So the Nine of Abundance is really just being happy. It is the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Um, I find this card is for personal... Um, it, it's more personal than collective. So I find that the relationship with Earth Sign will let you grow inside of yourself and your own success, okay? Uh, you just have to, you have to do it right. You do have to do it right, okay? I'm going to look for challenges here. Oh, I feel like, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Early morning sneezing. Oof. All right. What are the challenges? <sighs> Forgiveness. Yes. Okay. You need to forgive each other when something happens. You can't hold a grudge, okay? Um, I think that's with all signs, though. You know, if you're holding a grudge against somebody, or, um, yeah. Let's say you think that somebody did you something wrong, but you just kind of ignore it and never like thought it out and forgive each other. This can build up resentment, and I find that this is a killer. Especially with earth signs, they're not big into like, um, earth signs are great, okay, they're great, but they can be, they, it's not that they don't feel emotion, but they may not show emotion as, um, as fully as another water sign, let's say, you know, as dramatically as they do love very deeply, though. They do. They do. And uh, trust me, they can be taught. <laughs> they can be taught. <laughs> it's very easy. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. I love this, okay? Even the cards know that the earth sign, and yes, you'll say, Jane, you're biased. You betcha I am. You 
bet you I am, okay? This is all about this. But like I said, it's not without its challenges. No relationships are not. I have been with my Virgo for 33 years. We've had our challenging moments. Absolutely, okay? So now I'm going to look at all three signs. We got Taurus, Knight of Wands. I make decisions without pressure. There we go. Very earth, very earth bound sign. Let's see. We'll get a clarify for it. <clears throat> okay, so with Taurus we have decisive, logical, hardworking. He is passionate, patient, artistic, and kind, okay? And can be romantic, okay? Very ambitious, can be a risk taker, okay? Yeah, and you have the Page of Swords to um, explain it. So they communicate with great mental skills. Wow, what a sign. I had somebody tell me they were married to a Taurus and they said they were the best sign possible. Um, yeah, I guess so, right? Uh, on the flip side, though, they can be a little stubborn and needy. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And uh, <clears throat> this Page of Swords is also very young, so uh, this would also, you know, prove something. They can also talk their way out of things, okay? So they can use this great mental capacity to be a little manipulative. Just saying, that's what I'm getting, okay? So it can't be like roses and champagne for every sign, but I do see that they have a lot. So if uh, they um, learn how to use the right words, they could easily um, sweep Pisces off their feet. I could see that totally, okay? That I can see totally. Never dated a Taurus, but you know, um, if I ever trade up my Virgo, I might, you know? Sounds pretty interesting. So <laughs> next up is Virgo. Okay, give me a card for Virgo with Pisces, please. Oh, the star. Okay, I am inspired and positive about the future. <laughs> okay. All right. So, with that, you have the Two of Swords. Okay, I will say this much, because when I saw that in Optimistic, my Virgo has not always been optimistic. But the Two of Swords kind of clarified it, and I'm so happy they did. Okay. If you can unblock and balance out uh, Virgo's nature of seeing maybe a little bit of the dark side, they can become very optimistic. Mine is, they get illuminated, and uh, it's almost like uh, when you, you, f you pump them up full of positive, uh, Virgo will give you their very best. They're very loyal. Um, I, will, I will talk from my personal experience at this point. Um, they are, again, very mentally capable. Um, you have to be careful with them as well because sometimes they can sound a little uh, like a little bit know-it-all. They are very smart though. So uh, again, communication is important with Virgos. You have to, you know, make them realize that maybe if they make you feel a little bit dumb that they're doing so. Sometimes they're not aware. And uh, they can check themselves and they will, you know. It, they'll, they'll see. They'll gauge your reaction because Virgo loves attention, okay? Positive attention. They love positive attention, but so does everybody. So if they gauge you and they see they're getting positive attention, they will build on it and they will build momentum, okay? Their optimism will build momentum into the star. Absolutely, okay? The blocks will be removed, the delays will go away, and the relationship will, will go very nicely, very smoothly. Um, I have nothing to say. I mean, I, like I said, I am not without fault, neither is my Virgo, but we have been together for so long that we are in perfect harmony with each other, and uh, yeah, he's like my right arm. I would never, my right, both arms. I would never be able to be without him, um, and truly I think I'd rather be by myself if I wasn't with him. So it's a very, yes, it is true love for me. Uh, so yeah, 
I, I tried to give you traits for Virgo because yes, they can be negative, but you can turn them positive very easy, very easy. But it's because of their great mental skills. They see all the flaws and it's hard for them to, uh, you know, make peace with it. They would like to fix everything, okay? Very earth, very want to fix the world, okay? Uh, did I mention as well that they're very environmental? Because of their uh, earth signs, they can be very environmentally uh, guided. You have the Emperor card for Capricorn. And I make empowered choices, and I totally see this for Capricorn, okay? And uh, yes, okay, I'm going to get the... Uh, before I go, Virgo, they have uh, helping. They're perfectionist. Uh, they, they're practical, they're perceptive, okay? But they can get fussy, torturous, <laughs> and limiting. This is what I mean with the negative, okay? So you have to unblock them. You have to unblock them. That is, if you want a tip for your Virgo, that would be it, okay? Unblock them with flattery and uh, working with them, absolutely. So with Capricorn, you have an intelligent, practical, reliable, generous, optimistic, endearing, and persistent. Again, there's stubbornness with this sign, though. So with the Emperor, it's all about adapting, okay, with them. It's all about, there's my long hair. Uh, it's all about adapting and um, just juggling with them, okay? So, because they can also, on the flip side, ha a little be, be a little solitary at times and uh, maybe a little suspicious, okay? But I think I, what I feel from this, all of these signs is loyalty, okay? And forgiveness, talking things through, always, always with them, okay? Um... Yeah, their greatest, their greatest, uh, not it's not a flaw, their greatest strength is their ability to be very mentally um, and verbally intelligent with you. Like they, they can, they are great conversationalists, okay? You can sit and talk for hours about nothing okay, and be completely mesmerized. But it is very important for Pisces to speak their truth and their emotions. And uh, all of these signs, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, all of these signs, if you are genuinely, um, if you're genuine with them, okay, with your feelings, not, not drama, just genuine emotion and sentiment towards these earth signs, they will turn to marshmallows. I'm telling you, they will, okay? They will sit, they will listen, the stubborn will, will leave, but you have to be a genuine person. They won't sign up for drama, okay? The screaming and the stuff is nothing that they want. It's just a logical conversation and genuine sentiment. There you go. Sometimes it takes a hard time to get it out of me, but this is definitely what I have to say for Earth signs. And if you think, oh, she's being, you know, biased, you betcha. You a betcha. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is I trust my ideas and my direction. This is like um, to give you uh, pointers or tips from Spirit how to deal with all Earth signs. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is very much about assessment, patience, trial and error. And that's a great part about these signs. For as long as they're willing to try, okay, um, you can make changes and assess and move together into your future. You don't need to... Um, this is a long-lasting, okay? They won't give up on you until they feel you have given up on them. I'm, you know, I'm 100% on that one, okay? Again, some of you may not, uh, 
may not agree with my assessment, and that is fine. Um, I'm putting a lot of myself in here, especially for this sign, because I love him dearly, and I've loved him dearly for a very long time. So, but, and he has grown a lot from the boy that I met uh, to the man that he is now. So, I've seen him through all his changes, and uh, yeah, truly amazing. Okay, um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And uh, next up, I'm going to be doing water signs with water signs. So that should be lots of fun. You don't want to miss that. So press on the uh, subscribe button and uh, come back and watch that. Take care of yourselves, Pisces. I will see you later.